We're doing stand up. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. He did something Corbin. <laughs> and uh, you can follow us on Instagram for <laughs> more juicy <laughs> content. It's so juicy. I'm Patreon. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on the case card. Follow us on personal YouTube channels. Links Bling. in the description below. Today we're doing some stand up. It's called Guns in America and India. Wait. So I'm guessing it's showing the differences. There's, the differences aren't very stark. In case you didn't know, there's been some surveys that have done. Anyway. Yeah, there's not a lot of differences between America's gun culture and the rest of the, the world. Not at all. <laughs> we like our guns here. Uh, but it's by, say this name. I think we have more guns than we have children. Probably. Uh, Sorab Pant. I don't believe, unless I'm wrong. I, I, the name is not familiar to me. Maybe we'd have. We, I, don't, we may, I, don't, I don't think we have. I don't know, but we'll see. Here All we right. go. Guns in America and India. 2016, Donald Trump realized that America has Indians. <laughs> because Indians oh, no, seen population him. in any country grows at a percentage rate of Fibonacci numbers. <laughs> Yeah. So Donald Trump, to try and appeal to Indian uh, voters in the US, had a campaign, a video campaign, which went the following way. He's like, I'm Donald Trump and I love India. I love India, I love Hindus. I love Hindus and I love India. India and Hindus, I love India. I love India and Hindus. <laughs> Up to bar, Trump's our car. <laughs> he has a chance to be Prime Minister of India in 2019. <laughs> because he also thinks that India is represented only by one religion. <laughs> he said it, not me. <laughs> the two major things that they discuss in US politics during campaigns is only Guns and abortions. That's it. Yep. Actually, they didn't a talk about abortions at all in the campaign. Most abortions, debates. but they're very pro guns because what they want is for women to create more babies, so they have target. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> no, but we are having certain ways, right? In abortion, right? In abo abortion in India is legal. It's legal. There's very little opposition to it. It's, very, it's legal up to 21 weeks because we want to give women the rights to their bodies as they should have, right? Also. We have 1.28 billion people. Oh <laughs> we are happy to provide you any exit strategy. <laughs> guns, guns, guns. It's easy to procure guns in the US. It takes apparently in certain places, in certain states in the US, it takes seven minutes. You can go in, into a mall in the US and buy a gun. You can't yes. do that shit in India. You can't go to Phoenix Mills and buy a top from Zara. <laughs> and don't go buy some Piaz. From Big Bazaar and then go buy a bambook. <laughs> They're that easy I mean, here. If you yep. can't do it in reverse. It's harder to vote somewhere. Yes, than buy a gun. America! <laughs> Minus on a hundred percent discount for that, huh? I think you have some Again, guns are harder to procure in India. If you want to procure a gun legally in India, it's a long process. It's a long process. You have to get a character certificate. You have to get IT returns. You have to get address proof. It's a crazy amount of paperwork. The entire process takes months, sometimes years. Good. Or you can just go to Guddu from Gurgaon. He'll give you a house. I'll give you a free t-shirt in Zara. And if somebody is caught doing a gun crime, a gun crime in India, if somebody is caught doing a gun crime in India, we don't say shit like that, that person was probably mentally unstable. Like, shit like that they use in the US. We basically, if somebody is, has done a crime, we basically, hey, let law take its course. Let's law take its course. You did a violent crime, let law takes it, take its course. And if you're convicted, we'll send you to the parliament. But, oh! <laughs> That's a very cliche joke. It's not. 
percent of Indian parliamentarians have a criminal record. Dang. Twenty one percent of them for violent crimes. That can't happen in any other organization in India. <laughs> Welcome to Infosys. Thirty four percent of our employees have criminal. <laughs> You are new HR director, Gundu from Gundu. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, that was that was funny. Okay, I like him a lot. I th he's from EIC, he, he, and we've seen him in AIB as I, well. But we haven't seen him do stand up. I don't believe. So. Okay, yeah, I absolutely love this guy's. Yeah. Routine, where he's coming from. It's too. It, it's. I want to hear more of him. It's too. Um, make you uncomfortable with truth. Right. <laughs> it's, it's very low level Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah. It's very, it's also George Carlin. Very he, different he, he, temperament, but he, it's... I mean, I'm sure a lot of people hate him because of what he said. Uh, I'm sure he has a lot of haters. Um, oh, yes, he does. Uh, but, you know, if you do, obviously, political commentary, regardless of what side so, you're going to do political it commentary on... It doesn't matter what you say. If you say anything about the government, mm -hmm. you're going to get hate. Yeah, but uh, I liked it. I, I like it when people are uncomfortable, and you could tell, especially in that one where everybody was like, ooh. I love that, that stuff. Bill Barr, Bill Barr does Bill that. Bill Barr is life. great. I uh, love Bill Barr. Uh, he does that with a, a bunch. I think he, I don't know if you saw his SNL open. No. Uh, but he was just ragging on on, on white women. <laughs> like, well, I don't know if you know this about Bill Barr. He's like the only white dude in America who can get away with the kind of jokes he says that are racial. Mm -hmm. he, for, because, because the jokes that he says, you can tell if you know the guy. Mm -hmm. He's he's saying the the nasty truth, mm -hmm. but it's not what he believes. Yeah. You know that it's not where he's coming from. Yeah, yeah. This I love this. Yeah, I thought he did a phenomenal job. So uh, I would love to see. But the whole gun issue. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much you guys are aware of this. Not just the accessibility, but there are people I know some who the preeminent thing for them in a presidential election or a, or a one if you're just selecting representatives or senators. There's no more important issue for them than the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. Yeah. And Everything rises and falls we, for them on that. We both have come from Texas. Texas is very, very that, um, or at least was for a long time. Uh, uh, who knows if it's changing. But uh, the, the two issues that some people vote on are the ones he said. Mm -hmm. And those are the only issues that matter to them. Those are the only issues. Correct. Is that the Second Amendment and... Abortion. Right. Uh, nothing else matters. Right. You could you could be a pedophile as long as you support the Second Amendment and you support uh, you climate support. change. The planet could be dying. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, so it's it's one of those. But yes, in, especially in Texas and more southern states, you can go in and get be out in a few minutes mm -hmm. uh, with buying an assault rifle. Mm -hmm. uh, and some, you don't even need to show your ID. And yeah, before you start commenting on the definition of an assault weapon, we know that there's no definitive acceptance of that of what that actually means. But the basic bottom line is, somebody in the United States could go and buy 500 guns with 5,000 rounds per gun and store it in their basement and they wouldn't be checked on it until they committed a crime. That's true. Uh, in some states there are, you can open carry. Uh, Texas is an open carry state. Yes, uh, California is not. California guns are legal, there's plenty of people that buy guns. Oh, yeah. Uh, in, in, Every state. I don't think it's actually... No, but it is definitively harder here. Mm -hmm. Especially to get a concealed weapon uh, uh, license. But yeah, in Texas, during hunting season, you'll see... It, it, it has to be visible. You can carry it open. You can, you'll can. you see people in literally in the back of their truck. They'll have a shotgun in the back of their truck because they're going hunting. Yeah. That's very, very common. Um, but anyways. Yeah, he was very funny. I liked him a lot. Love uh, him. I would love to see more from him. Absolutely. So uh, down ballsy. below, let us know uh, more stand-up from him or others that we can react to uh, and laugh at. Down. What? I was going to say, and don't shoot your mom. That's always good advice. That's good advice to live by. That is. <laughs> Look, my head's out there. <laughs>